a little bit of an update on the garden uh, and upon the coast. I've just I've been adding a bit more fencing there on this bottom side, Japanese style of course. Uh, not exactly dead level and not exactly <laughs> each square the same, but uh, when you try to make one you'll know what I mean. It's not always it's not easy, especially if you're not a joiner. Anyway, it looks alright. And all my baskets, hanging baskets are all coming out now. I've got plenty of bloom. I've certainly got plenty of that now. Little uh, tip I want to give. A lot of you were saying about uh, in the koi carp side with the filters, uh, using those uh, beer filters from Amazon in the uh, Easy Pod. Well, I've got an easy pod up there, I used it on that, but it didn't collect that much, but I put it into the uh, Nexus 210, I'll just show you. I put it in the centre, uh, the, the gap is a lot wider than what the filter is, so there's no chance of it locking up. But it certainly catches all that extra fine sediment that you, that you don't get, you can see what I mean. Can you see that? Plenty there. I mean, I've only cleaned that out this morning, but uh, yeah, they work fine. There is a bigger one, but the trouble is, I think it's just that bit too big. It would be a tight fit. Well, if you had a tight fit, it would probably tend to block up. But anyway, it's uh, felt collecting that bit more fine sediment as well. Attached a bit of wire to it just so it's easy to pull out. The dahlias have just started coming out, so they're not much of a show as yet with those. But uh, that um, clematis there is beautiful this year. And of course, I've done my usual with the marigolds and begonias. And as you know, I planted quite a few cosmos seeds. And there you are. In fact, I've had to pull some out and got too many. Well, of course, this uh, nice weather we're having is uh, open a lot. <laughs> 